I click bypass and I like it and I click bypass again and I don't like it and then I like it again. I... <laughs> All right, this was just released and you guys sent me a ton of messages if I could try it. And uh, I was curious myself about this one. The new Universal Audio Capital Mastering Compressor CM5511. That's a long name. Let's try it. All right, the new Capital Studios Mastering Compressor by UAD now also available native. You don't need the UAD hardware anymore to run at least some of their plugins, uh, eventually I think all of them, which is a good thing. And this is the first time I tried to install one of the new Spark native plugins on my system. And I gotta be honest, it was a headache. Not only I had to install the UAD Connect software manager, which I very much dislike, but it's not just UAD, many other companies, I think almost all of them by now, they use a software manager, which to be honest, I'm not a fan. Unfortunately, isn't necessarily evil because again, most of them uh, nowadays do. But even after installing the UAD Connect and going multiple times through the procedure, I could not get this plugin to show up on Pro Tools. In fact, for this video, I'm gonna have to use the VST version through Blue Cat Audio Patchwork because the AAX does not show up in Pro Tools. And I'm not sure if the problem is fixable, but to be honest, if I wanted to buy the plugin after demoing it, that would be a deal breaker. The VST version works through the patchwork, so we're gonna be able to do this video. A little bit of history about the Capital Studio Mastering Compressor. The original unit, this high-end mastering compressor, was hand-built for Capital Studios by Ian Sefcik, which later went on and released, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same or a slightly redesigned version of this, the Magic Death Eye Compressor, which I happen to have a little bit of experience with because it's present at Ikari Studio, uh, my friend's Dweezil Studio, where we do Atmos mixes. He owns a stereo version of the Magic Death Eye, but anyway, this video is not about comparing the two. It is about the CM5511 plugin. So despite the installation problems, let's start by taking a look at the GUI and the functions. There are some things I like and some things that I don't like about the GUI. The one thing that I don't like is the ratio knob right here which is so freaking tiny it also doesn't tell us what the ratio is probably because it's a variable ratio but this is just me guessing we have the input knob on the left we have a three position side change switch threshold attack and release which which only have five settings from slow to fast counterclockwise an output knob channel link button and the control link on the right we have the two vintage style view meter which can be set to show attenuation or input another toggle switch to go from left right so stereo operation to mid side operation and one for dual mono or side chain link at the bottom we have the extended functionality so mix knob headroom a monofold which you know if you follow the channel i'm not a fan of these kind of functions but it's still there if you want it an overall gain and a shape for the saturation which you can turn on and off with this button next to it we have a lead style metering that can show dbfs or lufs simple power button at the top to bypass and bypass the plugin and without further ado let's hear how it sounds
Okay, first impression before I keep going with this. In default settings, so not touching the headroom, not touching anything, you've seen that, and now this is the track that I am running. This mix peaks at about minus eight, minus seven. It appears to require a much harder level to even engage compression. I actually have to turn the input all the way up and the threshold all the way down to even get a couple of dB of compression. And granted, this is a mastering compressor, so it's not meant to <laughs> uh, squeeze things, especially a mix. 10 dB down, but definitely I'm happy that they put a headroom knob here, probably because of that, probably because the original unit is like that and they realized that maybe uh, for modern music and just to make it more versatile, people would have needed a headroom knob. But now that I can engage the compression a little more without necessarily turning the input up, because I'm sure that one, if it's like the original unit, should increase color, we can try to understand a little more the action of the compression. That's the thing I'm interested in right now. Second first impression, many vintage units like this, they kind of have specific sounds and specific applications, which doesn't necessarily make them so versatile. Let's take, for example, the style level. It's kind of a one trick pony, but what a trick. I don't want to say this is the same. We need more experimentation, but I can hear kind of a classic pumping that some vintage old designs do have. When we set the release between fast and mad here, I can hear a little bit of pumping, which maybe it's just not going well with this dance track here. Uh, so we'll try other material, but I can feel going a little bit up against the groove and I seem to like the glue that it has, especially if we barely tap the compression. And I'm glad that the default settings start with the sidechain engaged because I've already tried it earlier. If I leave the sidechain linear, check this out with same controls. Okay, it obviously grabs a lot more in the low end, but I gotta say it, it does it in a fairly musical way. I definitely like so far on this track, the fast release settings a little better than the mid, uh, and even maybe let's try slower. It is nice, it is clipping right now, it is nice. I, I like what it does in the mid-range and top end. I can't, I should turn on my main monitors to really hear the low end. I'm just gonna engage the side chain again with the same settings. I have fast attack and fast release. I'm gonna ease the attack a little bit.
I'm not sure about the stereo image. I feel like it's giving me a little bit of narrower stereo image. Let me try a dual mono and let me unlink the channels. It's a little better. I, I like it better in, in dual mono uh, than stereo. Let me try mid side just. Yeah, it feels very musical on the top end and the high mid range. And uh, I kind of feel a little, just a little more warmth in the low mid range. And I'm not engaging saturation or anything. But again, I have the headroom all the way to minus, which so that I can engage and have a little more range to compress. Because right now I'm testing the plugin. I'm not trying to master this track. So I, I need range, OK? I'm going to put the headroom back down uh, Unity and just playing with the input instead and see if we change some color. Yeah, it's nice. Definitely it's got glue. Definitely it's got uh, harmonics added. Uh, the material, it's pleasantly more rich, but it's not but it's not overwhelming. It's not like full blown saturation or like top end. It, it seems like the collection of harmonics is fairly evenly spread throughout the spectrum. I don't feel the saturation leaning more or less on one range, maybe slightly more in the mid range, like dead center, which is not a bad thing. Uh, let's try to change song. Try to look around yourself. Everything just looks so bad. The world we're leading seems to be so wild. Now what is good we're gonna change. And what is bad we're going to bring. But baby, trust me, what's over to fall. It's funny because here on this song, you don't really hear the color as much as you did before. And if you, we think about the story, the history of uh, Capitol Records, a lot of the stuff was orchestral stuff and classical music, Frank Sinatra, shout out to Al. A lot of their catalog and their history is that type of music uh, as opposed to like trap and hip hop. Uh, so it makes sense to look at this compressor with that kind of perspective and point is this compressor seems to be pretty mellow and round overall. It has a nice subtle color, which again, I didn't engage in saturation yet. Uh, we are going to do that in a minute, but I feel 
you're gonna hear the color and probably is gonna be more suited in songs that are not extremely dense like a rock track. Yo, give me some time and just concentrate. As me tell you about this little youth we contemplate. Say him must eat the food till him lick down pan plate. So the little youth decide to put big gun pan waist. Say him while out and go all insane. Say him harder than that brother run to all in vain. Mama rose to him was all in vain. Now she cry and a ball in pain. Just because the youth start rob and kill. And say, I'm not gonna stop until we lost them selling by the gun, dead by the gun. And so by it, he won't have brain get pop and spill. No, him gone. Can't see him again. Sad song, I sing for him again. No advice. Mama can't give him again. I know me not gonna see my friend. Okay, so I'm just testing the limits and going to extremes. With the headroom all the way to negative, even not touching the input, it starts to get crunch. And uh, of course we hear the kind of digital type of saturation, which I'm not a fan of. Before we continue, if you like the videos, please consider using the super thanks and support the channel. And if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button, become a Mix Best TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish, mastering courses on many different genres and a lot more. And so many new courses are coming your way. And if you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Let's go back to the video. Just don't do it, <laughs> you know? And it's not just UAD, it's it's just digital in general and plugins. Like you hear when we compress anywhere above five, here five to seven dB on the VU meter starts to get really crunchy, regardless the settings of attack and release. I, I try to slow down the release because compressors, when when you set them very fast, some of them, they do stutter, they do create artifacts. And also ratio, which again, I'm, I very much dislike this little knob here. You would expect to compress a lot more when the ratio full clockwise versus all the way to the negative, but there's not much difference. And probably this is how the, the unit is. We can try to go back to normal settings here and start playing with the saturation. Okay, a little goes a long way. Even halfway through, we hear the crunchy low end here. Definitely, this compressor feels sticky. That's how I describe it. That's the word that comes to my mind. It's definitely on the slow side, even at fast at settings. I, so far, don't really like the slow settings. I mean, the slowest I would set it would be med, at least for a mix. I also like a lower ratio. Again, I can kind of feel that odd pumping when I go high in ratio. And I feel you will find yourself playing with the headroom and the input knob back and forth. So the saturation really goes very fast, like halfway through, it's already starting to crunch, but let's keep going. It's interesting. I was expecting to go like full blown overboard past 50%. It seems to have a steeper curve from zero to 50 
and then it gets a little more mellow as you go from 50 to 100, at least the saturation. I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like. I'm still the same down guy, same down vibes. I know that you heard this. I deserve this after what the hurt did. It don't turn out perfect. I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like. I'm still the same down guy, same down vibes. I know that you heard this. I deserve this after what the hurt did. It don't turn out perfect. I told you. I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like. I'm still the same down guy. It, but all you had shown me was that I'm just trying to sound like What real sound like I'm still the same down guy Same down vibes I know that you heard this I deserve it Okay, it's, it's interesting. On this track you can hear that the saturation kind of leans a little more in the low mid area, at least for this track. Or I should say on this track is more apparent that that's what it does because it doesn't change song by song. But listen to that low mid area. I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like. I'm still the same down guy, same down vibes. I know that you heard this. I deserve this after what the hurt did. It don't turn out perfect. I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like. I'm still the Besides the volume difference, which I'm not compensating back and forth right now, you hear more snare and more top end, that's level. But the tone, it's like the kick, the top part of the kick and the low part of the voice or the vocals. That's where you hear the more saturation engaging there. I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like. I'm still the same down guy, same down vibes. I know that you heard this. I deserve this after what the hurt did. It don't turn out perfect. I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like. I'm still the same down guy, same down vibes. I know that you heard this. I deserve this after what the hurt did. Yeah, it definitely, I mean, it's a good type of saturation. I like it. I'm not sure if I love it, but I would definitely not go past like 10 o'clock at least on a mix. Yeah, overall, I, I still have the same feeling. It's kind of sticky, more than gluey, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna try another mix and then maybe we can try a couple of single tracks. I don't know, it's funny, like I click bypass and I like it and I click bypass again and I don't like it and then I like it again. I <laughs> I still can't get past this kind of stuttery, pumping feeling that I have. I can feel it doing like this a little bit. And uh, as soon as I touch the ratio and I go higher than the, the first two clicks, basically. Uh, three, one, two, three. And then I like kind of the tone that he has, especially in the mid range and the top mid range. I kind of like that. And still, I can't decide if it's better with or without. Like every single time, like it's a 50 50. Let me try a couple more things. <laughs> Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock and load. It's off at the top of your dome like all the chokes. These are the choke. Can't stand this kind of smoke. Adios. Que pasa nasa vamonos. Ya toca lado do. I know ya grinded dominoes. Ya need to stop it and go stock it. I'll go pop the flow. <laughs> Rapido. I'm a combo. Do tutti copy. You're not. Hey yo face. Let's put the heat on. These weak miles. Put them cheap rhymes. Beat on. These peons. 
still I see him holding up these signs. Y'all better be wise and behave, cause these guys will be keeping stinging your retards like fucking with a beehive. You never be able to see, ah, uh, how can y'all deny? Shit, I was rhyming the beats when y'all were like knee high. Brody called me and he like, you got an hour of free time? I'm like, find me a beat and I'll probably body it each line. Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones They be rushing to get your body home Rocky fold, lock and load It's off at the top of your dome like artichokes These artists choke, can't stand this kind of smoke I See on this one I kind of like it Because it kind of lifts the vocals And it lifts everything And it's nice And then sometimes I still feel This combination between A little too crunchy And a little too pumpy uh, the rate the low ratio is a must for me on this one and I and I guess this compressor is just meant to be like slightly tapped like one 2 dB top hey, yo, snotty nose, catch karate blows like Johnny bones they be rushing to get your body home rocky fold lock and load it's off at the top of your dome like all the chokes these are the choke can't stand this kind of smoke Yeah, for example, on this one, I like it. Um, saturation, again, be conservative with this, but I like kind of how the material overall is always like denser, but it's not just a matter of envelope. It's got a nice color, it, it does. It's just that as soon as you go like a hair over where the sweet spot is, to me, it just sound too crunchy and not in a pleasant way. Uh, being a plugin. I think we, we we did enough mixes. I'm just gonna try it really quick on like bass and vocals. Okay, it's nice. Now, if we set the side chain to flat, so we don't cut the low end in the side chain with uh, with a clean signal like this, we can really hear the action of the release. Yeah, you can totally tell this compressor, uh, especially with a release between mad and slow, it's got that leveler feeling uh, and action, which is very much like many of the products coming out from Capital Studios, right? While one of my favorites is probably the uh, mid fast. And fast, again, it's a hit or miss because many times I notice is the timing that I want but it seems like to add some artifacts and start to crunch up with that. It's just not meant to be treated like a VCA compressor, obviously, and like smashing things or being snappy. This is more like a refined 1dB compression kind of thing with a little uh, nice subtle color. I wanna try something on vocals, and I know this is not as very little to do with the with a Fairchild, but just out of curiosity to understand this compressor, like one thing I can do with a Fairchild, and I'm talking about uh, the hardware unit, is to smash a vocal to oblivion. Like 20 dB of compression is just keep sounding better. So I sense before even trying it that this is not the compressor for that, but hey, maybe, you know, it will surprise us. Now the day bleeds into nightfall And you're not here to get me through it all Let my guard down, now you pull the rug I was getting kinda used to being someone you loved now the day bleeds into nightfall And you're not here to get me through it all 
let my guard down. Okay, okay, so we are getting that amount of compression and we can hear that there's definitely saturation going on, that there's definitely distortion even without engaging the saturation. Like that's the tone box and I gotta be honest, I'm not a fan of it, of the type of saturation that I'm getting right now. Now the day bleeds into nightfall And you're not here to get me through it all Let my guard down, now you pull the rug It's a little flat, it's a little flat now the day bleeds into nightfall and you're not here yeah definitely i would not use it for this type of effects like like for example i do with uh with other compressors just spin a vocal down and keeping it down like that and i have a med release because that's usually uh, what i use but with a fair child i do use fast releases but we're talking about the hardware um i would not use to pin things down like this. And uh, let me try the saturation at this point. Now the day bleeds into nightfall And you're not here to get me through it all Let my guard down, now you pull the rug I was getting kinda used to being someone you loved It's funny because I like the grab, it's very musical, you know, when he compresses, it's when he releases that it doesn't convince me. And uh, I'm not a big, big fan of the saturation, especially when it goes like overboard, like it doesn't break that nicely. The beginning of it, like the subtle type of saturation, yes, it's great, it's great even on a mix, it, it's nice. But as soon as you go like, a little more like i said before a hair over that it starts to feel like a little digital and flat yeah i mean it's a cool compressor overall and i'm pretty sure with more um experience i would find uses for it i gotta be honest i tried in past the uh, magic death eye plugging compressor and it it did not i did not like it to be honest i like this one much better so if you're thinking about comparing the two or which one to go definitely i would get this one uh, versus that one you know uh, any day comparison with the hardware it, it is no place this uh, for that but yeah i think this is it for this video this was uh the capital mastering compressor by uad running almost native because it didn't work in aax i had to run it through patchwork uh, VST on Pro Tools. Maybe it'll be fixed in the future, but I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please consider using the super thanks. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already and click the join button if you want to access the exclusive content. Many new courses are going to be added in the next weeks. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. See you next time. Hands on my neck.